I'm Igor Kafetz, and this is The List Building Lifestyle, a podcast for anyone who wants to build a wildly profitable email list working from home. If you'd like to make six figures, travel the world, and help people improve their lives in the process, then this podcast is for you. I also invite you to attend a free workshop at igor.ac where I'm teaching how I made $21,779.45 in affiliate commissions by sending just 481 clicks to my affiliate link in one day. I'm also explaining why I walked away from ClickBank and I don't promote ClickBank offers anymore, as well as the five things I look for in the perfect affiliate offer. I'm even going to show you the one-page website that I used to make over half a million dollars in affiliate commissions this year, and I'll even bribe you to attend this workshop by giving you a $497 value course that shows you how to cherry-pick high-converting affiliate offers for your next affiliate promotion. In addition, I'll even give you the three offers I'm promoting right now that are making me money as we speak. All that and more at igor.ac. And now, it's time to claim your list building lifestyle. Welcome back to another edition of the List Building Lifestyle with your host, Igor K. Fetz. I want to talk about affiliate marketing courses and, you know what, maybe even all courses for that matter. Now, I've been someone who's been investing in courses since about 2008, and it's been a consistent daily experience. There hasn't been a week or a month when I didn't buy some kind of a course, be it a $7 thing or a $777 thing or maybe even $7,000 thing. I've bought things, um, you know, from small ebooks all the way to robust video courses and all the way to like three-day intensives. I paid for $25,000 a year masterminds. I, I mean, if there's anything you can do, like if you can get private coaching for $2,500 an hour, I've done it, okay? I've done all of it. And here's what I've concluded, and this is uh, something I believe you'll find interesting because uh, one of the most common things that I'm hearing from my customers is that, um, you know, they go through course after course after course, they go from one course to the next, but every time the experience is very disappointing, meaning that in some way, these courses all fail to meet expectations. There's very few people who will go out there and stay positive and, and find something positive to say about the courses they're purchasing. Most of the time, it, it, people will share that, oh, this course didn't give me what it promised, or this course promised this, but you know, I don't see any results, or I've invested myself into this course, but you know, I'm not, I haven't seen a penny back or whatever. So here's a couple of couple of things to consider uh, when it comes to courses and Um, In in general, this will explain why all affiliate marketing courses suck. And as I say that, I include my own course as well. So if you ever checked out my Elite Affiliate Pro course, where I teach how I build these uh, really profitable uh, affiliate campaigns, you can go check it out at igor.ac. Right now, there's an on-demand streamable webinar you can watch. So anyway, why do they all suck? Well, all affiliate marketing courses suck. Uh, first off, because of your expectation, uh, yours and mine and everyone else's. The expectation is, uh, and this is uh, partially because of how we are as human beings and what we seek, and partially of how the courses are being sold to sort of you know accommodate to our to these built-in desires we have. We expect a paint-by-numbers manual where everything has been figured out for us, and if we have a question, for us to get a response to that question within minutes of us asking it. And so what we want is we want like this um, absolutely no guesswork, kind of like, you know, super, super, super micro detailed thing, right? And especially what we want is we want it all simplified, right? We don't want more complexity in our lives. We have enough of it as it is. We want everything simplified and we want... Uh, for, for this complexity to go away, we want for someone who's been there, done that, come back and quite literally eliminate every question that we may have. In fact, what we want is for that person to anticipate the questions we have and offer a quick and easy push button like solution to every challenge that may come up on the way. And, and so this expectation, whether you want to admit that you have one or not, 
it is ever present in everyone's brain. That's how the brain works. The, this is the brain just craves it like crazy. The brain wants the instant gratification. There's, it, I don't care who you are. I don't care even if you've been conditioning yourself to not expect it. You still expect it because you can't rewire human nature after you know millions and millions of years. Um, and so the the thing is that there's no course out there who can actually deliver on such an outrageously, outrageously unreasonable uh, request. Because there's no way in hell anyone can put together a course and answer all the questions, all the questions without actually like sitting there next to you and answer them as they come up for you. Because you've got your unique experience, you've got your unique set of skills, your unique perspective. You've got your own unique handicap and your own unique superpowers. So it's really, really hard to predict what questions you may have. Now, in addition, another uh, factor that contributes to it is that most affiliate marketers who create courses, they are bad teachers. I mean, I don't care. I don't care like if you've been doing affiliate marketing for, for 50 years. If you never taught yourself how to teach other people, how to present your ideas, how to get them to follow through. If you haven't really done any research on that or you don't have much experience doing that, then guess what? You're going to suck as a teacher and as a result, your course will suck as well. And that's normal. That's perfectly normal. It shouldn't stop you from releasing courses and helping people, but just know that it's not going to be perfect and that teaching is another skill you'll have to master if you'd like to achieve high levels of satisfaction with your courses, which is, again, something that takes some time to master as well. Now, besides knowing how to teach and teaching, there's also another aspect of it, and that is being able to craft a, a user experience when it comes to having your people, having your customers go through what you teach. Now, of course, right now I'm talking to course creators, but, you know, if you're a course consumer, if you're trying to learn affiliate marketing and you're finding all the courses to be, you know, very, um, um, well, unfulfilling, let's put it this way, right? If they don't deliver on what they promise based on your unique experience with the course, chances are um, either that person is, is just a bad teacher, not because they're a bad person, but because they don't have much experience teaching and they sort of assume that if they just lay out to you what they've just done, it will be enough, which most of the time it's not. And second, the experience that you build out for the customer, right? The experience that you as a customer go through when you go through a course, that is also very important because that determines how receptive the student is to the material and how likely the student is to actually go through the material and how likely the student is actually to implement the material as well. Again, not the same thing. All of these things are totally different things requiring a to totally different set of skills. That's why coaching is, is in such high demand in the 21st century because it's not enough to have the information. It's not enough to have the information laid out in front of you. Uh, you know, it, it may depend on your learning style. It may depend on your learning disability. There's a lot of people out there with learning disabilities. It may depend on a lot of things that are outside of your control as the course creator. And as a course consumer, that may also depend on a bunch of different things that you may not even be aware of. And again, it's not necessarily the course creator's fault. All they're trying to do is they're trying to show you what they're doing, it, hopefully, right? If you're hopefully you're buying from somebody who's actually doing what they're saying they're doing, and uh, and the second thing, of course, trying to make a little bit of money doing that. But most people who create courses are just not great at doing that. They're not great at crafting courses that get engagement. They're not great at teaching. They're not great at, at expressing their ideas. Um, it's not like you know they they went through uh, university level um curriculum building course or anything like that they just kind of sat down with you know uh, behind their computer and went out there and recorded some thoughts and showed you some things on the screen that's what they do now it doesn't disqualify them right they shouldn't be uh disqualifying themselves if they don't know how to teach but it explains why every course you've ever purchased kind of sucks <laughs>
Yo, it's Igor. If you're loving the content, hop on over to lizbillinglifestyleshow.com for more free training and a free transcript of this episode. Oh, and I'd really appreciate if you logged into iTunes and rated the show. It really helps. Thanks. Now, what's next? So should you just stop buying courses? Should you stop buying coaching programs? No, you should not. But you should also not expect to get all the answers from a single course. And that is why if you've been online for a little while, you've probably noticed that what happens is you're sort of compiling your own puzzle, like a jigsaw puzzle made of thousands of pieces, and you're compiling it piece by piece based on the courses you go through. You sort of go through and you, and you learn from a bunch of different people and they teach in a bunch of different styles. You attend events and you get the coaching programs and you, and you have membership areas with lectures and stuff like that. Sometimes you do certification, but at the end of the day, you're the one creating your own puzzle and making sense of that puzzle so you can then finally understand what's going on. But it's rarely, if ever, that you'll be able to do that by going through a single course. And I've noticed that in my coaching experience, uh, back when I was uh, teaching people how to build solo businesses, um, I noticed that the people who succeeded the fastest were the ones who spent a little bit of time online kind of trying things out and failing at them. So by the time I showed them my blueprint, they've had enough of experience in failing to make sense of what I was sharing and as a result, implement it correctly and quickly and therefore get results. People who came in expecting to get all of their uh, all of their questions answered, they got their questions answered, but even then they didn't take action. Like I've actually had a dedicated uh, staff member her name was uh, Chrissy Darrington. Uh, she's no longer online, unfortunately. But, you know, she was there dedicated specifically to getting on calls with people, group calls and one-on-one -on -one calls, and helping them through different questions they've had. And even then, they were still refusing to take action for a myriad of different reasons. So there's really no perfect affiliate marketing course out there. There's really no perfect course, period. And the only thing... I believe that separates people who are successful at going through courses and people who are not successful at going through courses is that people who are going through courses successfully, first off, look at it as a loose map of where they should be going. Second, they may pick up nuggets from the course, but they don't think and they don't, you know, they don't believe they'll have all their questions answered in one single course. Also, the people who get results tend to trust themselves to gain that initial direction, implement, and then ask questions as they implement in the real world, which is a lot of what people don't do. Believe it or not, the implementation rate or the action rate on a course, like if you were to, to sell a $500 course to 500 people, you'd be surprised, but you would only have probably around uh, 12 people 10 or 10 people do anything at all. And most would get discouraged really quickly, regardless of how clear and how much of a checklist you're providing them with. Why? Because people get discouraged not seeing the, the, the full clear path. They get discouraged by not understanding the path. So they may see it, but they may not understand it. They may get discouraged by looking at the path and saying, oh, this path does not seem like the kind of path I personally would like to take. So all of this stuff is just is just not something you can even control as a course creator and as a result you have an entire marketplace of people who are running around and saying ah these courses you know i've been buying this course and that course and i'm going through them but i'm not seeing much results um, i'm not happy you know i'm not i don't think the results i'm getting are the results that i was promised so my advice to you as somebody who wants to succeed online and somebody who wants to succeed in affiliate marketing or internet marketing First off, get rid of that fucking mentality that says you're entitled to getting all the answers just because you paid someone $500. You're absolutely not entitled to anything besides an equal opportunity. That's all you're entitled to. The rest is up to you to figure out. The fact that they are giving you the right direction, the fact that they're laying out the foundation for you, the fact that they're sharing some tips that they've learned along the way by making mistakes, that alone is worth tens of times of what they're charging you over the course of the rest of your life. 
But if you approach every course you're buying with that mentality, with that entitlement attitude, that you're somehow supposed to be, you know, uh, you're supposed to be told all the answers, it's impossible to do in the first place. It's just not possible. So if you get 70% of the answers in the course, that's amazing. That's like unheard of. If you get 50%, be happy. If you get 30%, then, you know, that's now that's borderline for you not be satisfied. But for the most part, when it comes to courses and coaching programs, you will never get an A to Z complete and thorough, no gaps left uh, sort of path. It's not going to happen. It just doesn't, not because people don't want to give it to you, but because there's so many variables in the process that you will simply have to go and figure out a bunch of that stuff on your own. Now, a lot of these courses will shortcut your path from six years to six months. A lot of these courses will take you from trying to figure out uh, how to build a funnel for, for two years down to two months. I mean, they can really shortcut your path, but they can't walk the path for you. You still have to be the one to walk it. You still have to be the one to ask some questions, figure some things out on your own, and you have to believe in yourself to do it. You can no longer, you just can't. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. You can't expect for things to be handed to you on a, silver, on, a, on a silver platter. Just can't, unless you're willing to pay 100,000, 200,000, half a million dollars for something that's called a franchise. But even then, it will come with a set of issues and challenges you're not being told that you will have to deal with on a daily basis. So again, something for you to chew on Next time you're thinking of, you know, buying the next course, because you will be buying the next course. We all will. We need the courses. Otherwise, we're completely lost in the dark. The courses are amazing. The fact we can buy them and get educated, regardless of where we're at in the world and regardless of the people we know and the connections we have and our, even our income level. Even if you're like on Social Security now and there's a course about affiliate marketing for 500 bucks. You can actually buy it. You can get a credit card or a line of credit or you can borrow money from someone. You can, like, the, the society today gives you access to that information. 50 years ago, 70 years ago, 100 years ago, those secrets would have never reached you unless you were born into a wealthy family or unless you were close friends with somebody who was actually doing it. So you're very privileged just having the opportunity to learn from other people all across the globe for very little money. It may seem like a lot of money to you, but it's actually not a lot. If you divide your investment in a course, let's just say it's $10,000, by the rest of your life, so if you're trying to make money online, you're trying to learn how to make money online, and you're buying this course for $10,000, and you divide whatever's left of your life with the average life expectancy of about 84 years old, so even if you're seven years old, you still have 14 more years. That means you're paying less than $1,000 a year for the rest of your life to learn some a skill that can make you a millionaire by that. I mean, it's not even in the same ballpark. It's unfair to the person creating the course. And they're charging you way less than they're supposed to. Yet a lot of times what I hear from people that it's costing them a lot more than they can afford. Well, I call bullshit on that. You want to get rich? Learn to take a little bit of a responsibility for your success and invest in yourself. How can you expect other people to buy from you if you if you will not buy from other people, if you won't take risks, financial risks, and invest in yourself? If you won't show that, hey, I believe, so other people will believe in me as well. It's impossible. If you're not buying from other people to advance yourself, you will never have other people buying from you to advance themselves in some way. It's just the way the universe works. So again, something to chew on next time you're thinking of whether or not to buy an affiliate marketing course. So this is Igor Kafetz, and this concludes another episode of the List Building Lifestyle. Until next time we chat, have a good one. Thank you for listening to the List Building Lifestyle. 
Get access to previous episodes, the transcription of today's show, as well as other exclusive content at lisbalinelifestyleshow.com. Also, don't forget to claim your free seat at the workshop I'm hosting this week, where I showed the two-step system that made me the top affiliate for people like Matt Basak, John Cristani, Richard Legg, Michael Cheney, and many, many others. In fact, on this workshop, I'm going to show you the exact approach I take whenever I promote an affiliate offer, the exact offers I promote, as well as how I was able to make over half a million dollars in commissions using my small list of just 18,000 people promoting a weird type of product that almost no one else promotes. All that is yours at igor.ac. So go ahead, claim your seat right now, and I'll see you there.